Camtasia Studio 7 has many useful features, including the zoom in and pan feature. Now the way we're going to do this is we're going to drag our project down into the timeline. Once in there, we'll hit play. As we see the cursor move towards an area of interest, I'm going to hit pause. Then I'm going to go over and click on the zoom in pan. Then I'm going to click add keyframe. Now you can either use the sliders to zoom in or you can do it manually like this and then move your cursor area into that region and then you see here that we have the cursor and the magnified area zoomed in. So now what we do is we're just going to hit play and we're going to follow the cursor and as it moves we're going to want to stop because now that region is no longer significant. So what we need to do now is that we need to come back up to our add keyframe area and then zoom out. And then we're going to resume play until the cursor reaches another area of interest which is now in the top right hand side. So again we're going to add a keyframe, use the slider to give us a little bit of zoom. We're going to move this with our cursor over to that particular area and we're going to see it over here on the right side of our screen. So again, now that it's zoomed in, we're going to follow our cursor. And once that cursor moves, we know that we can now go back to a full wide view. And you can continue this process as many times as is needed. And that's the basics of zooming in and panning out.